Alright, so we're back with the only game where you can bring welfare to space. It's City State. There's a giant update, space has been added, I don't know, let's go ruin lives up in the great beyond. Go to region, damn it. Okay, there's epic space music now in the map area that you can't turn off. So, um, do me a favor real quick and don't pay any attention to the name of the city state and the picture. This was originally the one that I just kind of played for fun, but you can only get to space in the region map and all the other stuff that we always did was custom. So I have to use WTF now. On the plus side, it's a libertarian welfare state. What better government to bring to aliens? Uh, excuse me for a minute while I try and remember where I put my space center. Okay, so over here at the space center, you can build a bunch of ships. I also don't know what this is. Uh, I'm just gonna put some money into it and hope it does something. So before you go in with these very long ships you need to probe the stuff first i don't know i guess we'll use private funds i don't even remember how i made money in this place i'm sure it was by running the city state in a perfect and efficient manner either that or, or it was by exploiting the different classes there's the perfect triangle of probes flying off into the sky it's like it's like the blue angels or something of space. I'm just gonna build one of everything. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. At first, it looked like whatever comes out comes out of this tiny hole, but that gigantic thing just seemed to sit on it. There is no way in hell that fit up there. Jesus, that thing was massive as it was. I kind of want to see what the transporter looks like now. All it is is an oversized Trump Tower with a bunch of rockets strapped to it. That's what your tax money buys you here at WTF. <laughs> Okay, it was everything I thought it would be. I think we have enough now to go to space. Welcome everyone to space. This constellation looks like the Quap guy. With his legs and his arms flailing and his head all leaned back. I really don't know which planet I want to go to. Since I'm a lefty, I'm going to pick the right hand side because being lefty has done nothing but screw me over repeatedly. Super low temperature in a thin atmosphere. So basically what, this is Russia? Is the gravity lesser in Russia? You guys in Russia are going to have to let me know. Russian folks are so awesome about this stuff. They're always like, oh yeah, that's exactly what Russia's like. The gravity is lower here. Everyone knows that. Damn, I'm not going to lie. There's some electrolytes in the water up in here. So the menus have completely changed. You can mine spice in the mountains. What kind of spice are we talking about here? Are we talking about the kind that people put in their food or the kind that gets people in trouble? Clinic. School mall i appreciate that these are the most important buildings on the planet i've never destroyed water on another planet before <laughs> i've looked forward to this i appreciate that the the settlements in space is just trailer parks basically this is the welfare that we've brought <laughs> to what is this called toy set can i change this name tau i don't know Technically, it can be pronounced however the hell we want it to be pronounced because it's our freaking planet. If there was something here before us, I just like to think that we either killed them or enslaved them and they're working inside of the malls now. Uh, my, am, am I missing something? You guys see that, right? In the, in the middle left hand corner of the screen? School, clinic, but if you just kind of hover like right here, Parks. There's no parks here. Yet somehow I found the tool tip for parks. Is this just trying to tell me that the whole world is one big park? I like how the second we got into space, our sense of architecture just went out the friggin' window. These are the most inhuman looking buildings in all the world. I will say though, our vehicles are, are pretty slick. Looks like some sort of sports car mixed with a tuning fork. I don't know. I guess I'll just go ahead and mine damn near everything I can. Very human of us. First thing we do whenever we get to a planet is begin to rip out all the resources we can find. What the hell is this? I pressed the pause button and this menu can't- Oh Jesus, what did I do? Um... <laughs> I think I may have broken some things. Hold on here. Uh, you know what? No one loves this planet anyway. Let's try a different planet. It's fine. I got plenty more spaceships where that came from. I appreciate that the game completely represents what a pain in the ass space is. Okay, going right was a terrible idea last time. So this time, I guess we'll go left. Okay, this world looks much more legit, I guess. It's like Florida all over again. Yep. Florida confirmed. I told you. Welfare in space. So we're going to do the very first Western unioning of money, uh, interplanetary style. I need to give this place a crap ton of loot because I go through cash really quick. You know what's awesome? How I came back to this colony. And there's a freaking menu hanging around sideways. Why is this here? What's somewhat irritating is that if you look at the X, look at it. 
I can click on this menu that's not supposed to exist. Like, it's legitimately here. I can interact with it. It just doesn't go away. All right, hold on. Let's colonize another place. This is seriously a pain in my ass. Procyon, you're next. I'm coming for you. Okay, the worlds are getting more and more like crap. Hopefully, it's a world that doesn't have an inoperable menu screen in the background. All right, I'm sending like a million V-Bucks over there. I shouldn't be able to burn through this too fast. I hate my life. It's slowly moving across the screen nose now. So now it's wait, can I can I build stuff? It's like the the full text is here. Whatever. I don't even. Oh my god, the spice! Holy Jesus! Eighteen hundred spice, huh? Mmm. Man, this stuff's laying everywhere. Is that all this is? This part of the game is it just one giant mining colony? There's really nothing else. What kind of farms do you build in space? Is this gonna be like some sort of dome farm or something? Okay, that is not at all what I was expecting. What the hell? This is a different mall. Oh, what the hell one is this? The rest of these are community centers. What is this? It's a robot store. There's only four customers in the whole damn store. Alien Zero? How the hell do I get aliens here? I'm still trying to figure out how to get this freaking menu off the screen. I like how this liquid isn't even a liquid. It just, it just calls it tiny vibrating particles of matter. Every day, I'm ripping spice out of the ground. Does it do anything? I don't know. More intergalactic trailer parks. Every once in a while. <laughs> in the community. There it is right there. It just flashes on the community school. Too many students. It doesn't matter how many schools you, you build. It just says too many students. I don't know why. Oh, damn. On the plus side, our buildings are getting upgraded. Again, I I'm not really sure what the hell's happening here. But we're out of trailer parks. And now we have what looks like the Gravitron whenever you go to, uh, to a, an amusement park. Hell yeah, I'm building more of them. Oh, the buildings are continuing onward. Now they're turning into giant space soccer balls. You get a garage now, too. You can put your, uh, your Lamborghini fork inside of a clear plastic box. Hey, VR's starting to blow up. 406 customers now. It says there's 42 cars on the road. Maybe I'm missing it. It's pro I'm assuming there's just no, there's no animation for it quite yet. No joke, this colony runs in debt the whole time. The only reason this place is still existing is because I keep feeding it money from my ultimately wealthy place back on Earth. Whatever. I'm gonna rip as much spice out of this place as I possibly can. I've decided I'm just gonna put housing everywhere. I don't know if this is gonna fix anything, but I'm willing to give damn near anything a shot at this point. Okay, the houses are getting legit. This is some Jetsons level stuff over here. That's four or five. Still not making any money. They call it space exploration, though I guess not space capitalization. At this point, all I want to see is what the final space house looks like. That's my ultimate goal. We can't really do anything else, I don't think. There's a couple of, um, bugs that probably need to get fixed before we can go any further. The mall is crowded. Time to waste more money, I guess. Space is the biggest money pit in the entire universe. I've never spent so much money for so little return before. What's odd is it looks like the unemployment is shot too. Because I started up some other new games just to see. Unemployment is always zero. <laughs> right now. You can't get it off of zero, no matter what you do. Even if you make a bunch of houses and there's people living there and it's clear that there's unemployment, it's still zero. Screw this, I'm feeding everything into the space colony. 100% of the income is going into it. Okay, so something else I noticed is every time I go to transfer funds, there's an extra 336,000 just sitting here that I didn't put here. Maybe it just starts at 336, I don't even know anymore. On a side note, it feels like our friend the random screen over here is slowly migrating over to the right, maybe? I'm not sure. So, um, I found something else out that's, uh, it's not very good. Mine. Road access. Yes. Mine next to that mine. Road access. Yes. This random VR center out in the middle of nowhere. Road access. Yes. House sitting right on the road. Road access. <laughs> No. Okay, because I'm a total masochist, I'm gonna give this one last shot just to say that we did everything we could. I've got like four and a half million freaking V-Bucks over here ready to get sent to... Actually, you know what? We're gonna make a brand new one. Ah, uh, a probably low amount of gravity. Maybe I can die in some other way besides a high amount of disappointment. I came over here into the regional fund to move it over into the new place. And all the money that I had saved up is now gone. Welfare is legitimately the most painful thing 
I've ever done in my life. Before, welfare was just another another government type for me, but now it's it's agony. <laughs> it's not stop agony. To be fair, people are always telling me that I break the games, but I think I think this update may have broken without my without my help. Okay, I made another three million. I don't even know how much we've put into the colonies at this point. It's like ten million or twenty million dollars or something. I did a bunch off screen as well. Oh, floating menu screen, my old friend. I feel like I should put something over this, like a kitten head or something. I've never destroyed ectoplasm high C before. This is new. I swear to God. One way or the other, I'm gonna get this unemployment up. Either it's locked at zero, or I'm gonna make this work. My god, we may actually get there. 617 workforce, 701 jobs. Come on, baby, just a little bit more. It's working. We're making actual money. I can't believe it. So it turns out that uh, as long as the unemployment isn't zero percent, you get like... 40 times more sp- 10 times more spice or something like that. Drain this friggin' planet dry. I've had so much disappointment that now all alien life is my enemy. I will take everything they have. More spice farms. Can I make this mine straight off the map? Because it almost looked like I could make it straight- Oh my god, you can! I can glitch it straight off the map. <laughs> well. You know, this is what it's like to uh, mine dark matter or whatever's out here past the Earth. I call it Earth because that's what I'm going to rename every single friggin' planet I go to. I don't want any other cultures to exist in the universe. Yeah, look at this crap. Production from 10 to 100 because the workforce went up enough. So there's no partially working the mines. You know what I mean? Like, you can't work them half-staffed. Either no one does anything or they do everything. So I found part of the freaking problem. The greenhouses take too many people to work in. So the slave labor of the greenhouses take up all of our workforce and you need that much to feed people because the second you don't feed them, they get all pissed off and they leave because they're quote unquote starving. You guys don't have to eat all seven days of the week, you know. I think we can still balance this. I can save all the colonies. This probably has some really low property values, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you guys right next to the mines. Well. We finally figured out how to balance an economy in space using welfare. And it's a giant pain in the ass. I'd rather just stay on Earth. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Stay State. Until next time, stay foxy. Much love.